today I'll be making my alkaline fruit bowl. I have some fresh organic seasonal alkaline fruit that I'll be serving with my organic dark chocolate lemon sauce topped with my organic toasted maple nuts and seeds. It's organic, gluten-free, vegan, no added sugar, and dairy-free. Eating more alkaline fruit will help make your blood more alkaline and oxygen rich. Eating alkaline fruits makes you feel energized and healthy. They also boost your brain power, make you hydrated, are full of minerals and vitamins, and help lower your risk of developing diseases. That is a very good thing. So let's start eating some more alkaline fruits. Also, just a heads up, I use organic ingredients for all of my recipes, but if you can't find organic, just find whatever you can that's healthy. Times are really tough right now, but in time, it will get better. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some toasted maple nuts and seeds. And this recipe makes enough for about one fruit bowl. And you'll probably have extra toasted maple nuts and seeds and my chocolate lemon sauce on the side. So don't worry about it. You can make more fruit bowls the next day. Okay, so how, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna get a nonstick pan and we're gonna turn on the heat to about uh, medium high. And we're gonna get the organic olive oil and we're going to get a fourth of a cup of organic olive oil and measure it out. Okay, we're going to coat the bottom of the pan with the olive oil. Okay, so we're going to add a fourth of a cup of organic macadamia nuts. I was gonna get um, organic Brazil nuts, but they didn't have any at the store. So I crushed up some uh, macadamias. So I'm gonna put those in the pan. I also have a fourth of a cup of walnuts that I crushed. So I'm gonna add those in. Um, here's a fourth of a cup of organic pine nuts. Put those in there. Um, got a fourth of a cup of organic fresh coconut that is um, shredded. If you can find the fresh coconut, you can just grate fresh coconut and put that in here. I couldn't find any at the store, so I, I got the, uh, the pre-made shredded coconut. So we're gonna add that in there. We're also gonna add two tablespoons of organic sunflower seeds. So we got those, throw those in. Uh, we got um, two tablespoons of organic flax seeds. I'm gonna throw those in. Uh, we got a tablespoon of organic sesame seeds. I'm gonna put those in here. And I also have um, a teaspoon of organic ground cinnamon. So I'm gonna throw that in. I have a teaspoon of organic, uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of organic ground cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna add that in, gives it a little bit of spice. And then um, just get some Himalayan pink salt and season it to taste. So I have some of this right here. So just season those up. However, however you like. Okay, so we're gonna just get these, get all this toasted in the pan. You'll know, you'll know when it's toasted because the nuts are gonna start turning kind of brownish. They're gonna also let out their oils, and you're gonna start smelling all the uh, the toasty the toasty smells of the nuts. So I'm going to keep the, the heat on medium high heat, going to keep stirring until everything gets toasted. Don't burn them. Uh, once the, once the, the nuts get toasted, you're going to reduce the heat to a medium and uh, we're going to add in uh, the maple syrup. You can hear the nuts starting to pop and the seeds getting nice and toasty. Okay, I'm starting to smell the toast, toasted nuts, so I'm gonna turn the heat down to about a medium. And we're gonna add in um, a half a cup of organic maple syrup, and if you need to add more, add some more. And you're gonna just uh, cook these for about a minute or two minutes until they're candy coated, and then as soon as they're done, we're gonna put them on a parchment lined sheet pan. Smells really good. 
good. Okay, so it's been about a minute to two minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour these onto a parchment lined sheet pan. So let me turn the heat off. I got my sheet pan right here. I'm gonna pour these right over the top like this. Spread these out onto the sheet pan just like this. Okay, after I put the maple nuts and seeds onto the uh, parchment lined sheet pan, I pop these into the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Then I take them out and uh, this is what I have right here. And I'm gonna let them cool down and after they're completely cool, I'm gonna break them up into pieces and set them aside, ready for the alkaline fruit bowl. If you want them just a little bit extra crispier, just throw them under the broiler and keep an eye on them until they get toasted the way you like it. Okay, I'm gonna make the dark chocolate lemon sauce. And to get started, I need a medium saucepan. So I'm gonna whisk together a cup of organic coconut cream that I have right here. So I'm gonna add all of this into the pot. I'm also gonna add a half a cup organic maple sugar. I'll add that in there. I'm also going to add a half a cup of organic maple syrup. Next, I'm going to add three fourths of a cup of organic cacao powder. Next, I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. So put that in there. Then I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of organic vanilla extract. Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of organic lemon oil. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of organic lemon zest. So add all of this in here. Okay, so I'm going to warm the mixture over medium heat. So I'm gonna turn on the stove and put that to medium heat. And I'm gonna just sit here, I'm gonna be, keep whisking it together. And then once it begins to, to boil, I'm gonna remove it from the heat and then I'm gonna whisk in the chopped dark chocolate until it's melted. So until this comes to a boil, I'm just gonna continue to whisk it. Just keep whisking. Just sitting here and whisking up the uh, chocolate sauce. You'll get a nice little workout. <laughs> okay, my, my chocolate sauce has come to a boil. So I'm gonna remove, turn off the heat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the chopped dark chocolate and I'm gonna melt it. And then once it's melted, I'm gonna remove it from the heat and cool it to room temperature. So add all the chocolate in and just keep whisking it until it's all incorporated. Okay, I'm gonna have a little taste to make sure everything is seasoned and tastes good. Mmm. It's delicious, it's so chocolatey and it has the hints of the lemon in there. Mmm, it's gonna taste so good on top of this fruit. I found this chocolate at the grocery store and this is one of my favorites that I love to use. Okay, I'm back. For this alkaline fruit bowl, what I have, I went to the store and I found any kind of seasonal alkaline organic fruits that I could find. So the ones that I found um, are fresh ripe organic mangoes, fresh ripe organic papaya, fresh ripe organic cantaloupe, and fresh ripe organic watermelon. So to get started, all I have to do is just add a handful of the fresh seasonal alkaline fruit to a bowl and toss it together. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
So I'm gonna add a handful of the mangoes right into the bowl. And I'm gonna add the papaya into the bowl, just like this. Add some of the cantaloupe into the bowl. All this fresh fruit smells so good. And we're gonna add the organic watermelon into the bowl too, right on top. Okay, so I'm gonna get my hands and just toss all these fruits together like this. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back to finish this alkaline fruit bowl. Okay, the fun part. Get to add the chocolate sauce and the toasted maple nuts on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my my chocolate sauce that has cooled down to room temperature. I'm gonna just drizzle this right over the top of the fruit. You can add as much chocolate sauce as you want. I I love chocolate sauce, so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably add a lot on here. Okay, one more scoop. There we go. Mmm, right on the top. Okay. I'm gonna get these uh, toasted maple nuts and seeds and I'm gonna garnish the top with these, just like this, right around the fruit. Okay. And now I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I've been waiting for a long time for this. So this is the bowl. All right, let's go in, let's get some of all this fruit, chocolate sauce and nuts. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. It's so sweet. It's fresh. It's juicy. It's fruity. It has the chocolate. It's crunchy. It's so good. If you'd like this recipe or any of my other recipes, please go to my website at www.healthychefkelsey.com. Thanks again for watching. And this fruit bowl is one in a melon. Peace. Mmm, so good. Here is a great idea for all you doggy lovers out there. Watermelons are huge and you're gonna probably have lots of extra watermelon from this alkaline fruit bowl recipe. Uh, so you're probably thinking and wondering, what am I gonna do with all this extra watermelon? Well, I have the perfect recipe for you and your doggies. It's a fabulous frozen summer dog treat recipe that I call Yogi Melon Treats. To get started, all you need is your leftover organic watermelon, uh, organic non-fat yogurt, um, a Vitamix blender, or you can use any blender um, that you have. Um, you also need an ice cube tray and a funnel, a spoon, or just a, a spoon, whatever you have, and a freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna just use a spoon, it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna just start filling these this ice cube tray with the uh, non-fat yogurt and all you got to do is just go like this into each one about a third of the way up and then when i'm finished with this i'm going to freeze it and then uh out, only about a couple hours and uh, i'll be back soon this is how the non-fat yogurt should look in the ice cube trays and i'm going to go pop this into the freezer for about two hours and I'll be back. Next, I'm gonna cut off the watermelon rind and add the fresh watermelon to the blender and blend it into a puree. You do wanna keep the watermelon rinds and blend it for yourself later, but unfortunately, Fido cannot have the rinds. Okay, so let's get this into the blender. Cut off the ends and just 
scoop out all the watermelon. Okay, and we're gonna put this into the blender. Okay, it's time to blend up this organic watermelon for Fido. Let's do this. Okay, I have my yogurt and it's now all frozen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the blended pureed watermelon over the top about two thirds of the way up. And then I'm gonna freeze it again. So I just get a little spoon and I pour the watermelon over the top, just like this. All ready for the freezer. Okay, the Yogi Melon treats are frozen and ready to serve. Now it's time to test them and see if my dog approves. And as you can see, you can see the layers of the yogurt and the watermelon. Also for the extras that are left over, you can just put them in a Ziploc and then just keep these in the freezer next time you give your, your pup a, a treat. I hope your dog loves these too. Enjoy this hot weather with your poochies and try to stay cool by the pool with these fabulous Yogi Melon treats. Peace.